Hello, everyone. It's episode two of The Scroll Free Life, season two. This is fascinating to me, actually, because this is the first week where I was not obligated to anyone in the world besides myself to do this vlog. And I held myself accountable and I did it for myself. In the last few weeks, I've felt myself falling into something of an artistic slump. It happens. I have these non-inspiration depression cycles where I get very woe is me and I'll never create anything again. All my art is terrible. La 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 la. And that's unfair to me, really, because guess what I've been doing is I've been very proactive about the audiobook. I have nitpicked to no end on several chapters. So actually the audiobook is coming along very nicely. I have been getting very good feedback. My abilities were recognized actually by somebody. They saw my demo chapter and they said, we would love to work with you. Please send us a reel. <laughs> I don't have a reel yet. Maybe all of this suffering, this terrible suffering, this loss of my sanity, this wretched audiobook, maybe it opens a few doors now, right? Maybe it allows me to to get into voice acting again. Anyway, I digress. Today, why I did this sit down interview, it's not to complain. It is to complain a little bit. I really, I was upset. The world is terrible and my and my art isn't, isn't doing anything. It's not, I'm not being proactive about it. But that's also unfair because I have revised my query so much and I've reworked my synopsis and I'm re-editing the entire stupid manuscript, you know? So it's not like I'm not doing things. I definitely am. And I need to remind myself of that because it's a journey and it is a long process and I'm just impatient. But I digress again. The reason I am here is really not to complain. It's because we're gonna do something fun and crazy. Are you guys ready? Cause I'm actually not. Today we are going to charge up the old iPhone and we are going to open this time capsule and see what my life was like 13 months ago. And this is not the first time I'm touching the phone. I broke it out of its case. Oh my God, it already got filthy again. The first time I broke it out of its case officially was February 19th when I took the lie detector test. And we actually got footage of me wiping off a year's worth of grime, which was horrific. And you can look at this, it's already accumulated some new grime. Oh, that didn't work the way I wanted to because my hands are also filthy. What am I doing? I know. Do I know how the world works? Hold on. Let's get a cloth. Better, a little bit better. This is the thing I miss most about the phone is my sick, nasty dragon phone case. So here we go. Plugged in. And we got a screen. We have 0% battery. This feels a lot like relapse behavior. Like just holding the phone and just looking at it repeatedly. Like, is it charged yet? Is it charged yet? It's actually, it's probably gonna take, I don't like this. Because I developed such a negative Pavlovian response to anybody's smartphone over the last year. And they would put their phones in my face and I would say, no, 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 I can't look, I can't look. No, no, no. If I look at your phone, I lose. I didn't wanna be anywhere near phones. You know, I also forgot how this works. And I think I jumped the shark on this video and I think I probably should have let this charge for like an hour before I started this video. We're still at 0%. False alarm. Half an hour later, I look like a scrub. It's fine, I'm, I'm a scrub today. I just heard the telltale bzz, bzz. Here we go. Press home to open. It died at 7.55 a.m. on February 15th, 2019. So I gotta connect to my Wi-Fi because we changed the Wi-Fi. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Let's see if I get <laughs> later. Later. This phone hasn't been backed up in 54 weeks. Backups happen when this phone is plugged in, locked, and connected to Wi-Fi. I like showing that off. That I think is hilarious. Wow, I had mad people in this phone. Wow, 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 wow. Wow! Oh, the notifications came in. The line notifications came in, y'all. 3,665 notifications online. I don't know if I want to get into that. There's going to be some toxic nonsense on there. <sighs> this is giving me anxiety. This is giving me a hell of a lot of anxiety. Hey, here's War Dragons. Do we dare click on War Dragons? There's honestly, oh, my photos. 
Oh man, the last picture I ever took on this phone. This was the day before the contest started. This was February 14th, and I got the first ever printed copies of Dragon Child. This is also the 14th. <gasps> I have been looking for this picture. Oh my God. Check this out. This is one of those uh, roller coaster pictures. They take a picture of you going down the crazy stuff. We were all like, you gotta give face to the camera. And they are screaming. And I was the only one and I was like, mm, okay, this was, this was worth finding this. Oh, Anna. This is my buddy Anna. This was January 28th, 2019. This was the night before I learned I was the uh, the chosen one and I was chilling with my friend Anna and she was there when I got the news and I freaked out. Oh my God. Let's watch that again. That's worth watching again. Sick. This is a screenshot from War Dragons chat, October 25th, 2018. I miss you guys. I do miss them. Who's this? Do I have volume on this thing? Oh, she's so cute. Oh, what? Oh, shit. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We, we missed it. It was a yawn. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, what? Oh, shit. I got it. Oh, shit. I forgot how to use the camera. That was a nice picture of me. April 24th, 2018. Baby Dragon. That's Baby Dragon in his car accident. April 11th, 2018. Nice castle picture. Halloween pictures. War Dragons, War Dragons. And a UK book tour picture. Wow, really, I thought there might be some, like, incriminating stuff on here. Didn't I have, at some point, didn't I have, like, a Snapchat? Or Garbage! Garbage! That's where I keep... Oh, no, this was when I, like, cared about my social media. And you see, I was trying to do all of this nonsense, like... Oh! Okay, wait a minute now, wait a minute. We could see... With some of these apps, I think we can see. Yeah, follow track. We're gonna see who unfollowed me over the course of my not really posting anything on Instagram year. And you know what? We're gonna unfollow them back. Oh, wait a minute. I think I changed my Instagram password at some point. So I gotta, all right, time out, time out. That was a good slate. Good, mark that up. Okay. Instagram, shit. <laughs> it's wrong. I haven't had to sign in. That's why it's been saved on the desktop for Months. There's only like three other options it could possibly be. Ah, we got it. Second try, we got it. Damn, this is, this has changed a lot. What is this shit? Stop it, no, get away from me, get away from me, get away from me. I don't want, I'm done. I don't care about any of this. I don't care. I don't care, ooh, all right. I remember this habit, I compulsively always exited out of my apps. You see how fast I went back, right and back into that habit? That is scary. I gotta get rid of this phone. I gotta auction this off or something. Oops, refresh data failed. You gotta be kidding me. This is so anticlimactic. Didn't have anything interesting on this stupid phone. Now it's just irritating me. User's not following me back. This is such garbage. I don't miss any of this really. You know, I don't. Oh, did I change this password too? Shit. Huh? Cancel it. Get away. Get away. No. What's going on? Was it always this bananas? I don't think so. Just let me sign in again. I still failed. Okay, so we can't, we can't be petty. I really thought that coming back to it would maybe be a little bit different. Some of these apps were useful. Google Maps was useful. Calculator was hella useful. Tiny Scanner was useful. The banking app was useful. Strava was useful. But you know, I don't need any of it anymore. I thought this would be a bigger deal, but it's not. Slide to power off. Did I do it? Oh, I guess I did. So that was like the most anticlimactic thing I've ever done, but it taught me something important. You know how you get that feeling when, a, when an LIRR train comes toward you and you're like, what if I jumped in front of this? 
I don't know, maybe that's just me. But I feel like this is, there's an actual word for this. Staring into the abyss, essentially. You're at the top of the mountain and you're like, what would happen if I just threw myself off this cliff? You're driving a car and you're like, what, what would happen if I just crashed into that tree? There's a word for that kind of intrusive thought. And it really is, it's, it's you going toward the abyss, you staring into the abyss and the abyss staring back at you. But I would have that sometimes. I would walk through the living room and I'd be like, what if I just touch that phone? You know, like that would be my throwing myself off a cliff thought. So there was always this possibility, I guess, in my mind, maybe subconsciously deep, deep, deep down, I really did want to go back to the phone. But I think this experience has taught me that the answer to that is no, I really don't need it anymore. Nothing about it appeals to me anymore. It has lost its shine. It served me well for a long time, this phone, but did it? because it kind of also destroyed my life a little bit. But you know what, that was my fault. I destroyed my life. Let's give credit where credit is due. This helped. This allowed me to destroy my life. That's a nice little bit of validation. I can change. I can do things when I put my mind to it. I may feel despair in the state of the world, politics, uh, the progression or not of my art whether it's the audiobook or the regular books. Oh, I guess, okay, PSA. <laughs> when this gets posted, it will be Friday, March 6th, and Dragon Blood, book three of the Shadow War Saga is now officially published. So I'll drop a link. Ebook format will be available soon and it will be free for one week when it first gets released as a little nice thank you promo. Just so you're aware, that's a thing that is happening that I'll do. This was good, I'm glad we did this. I feel better now. I do feel better now. Talking to myself, talking through things, having this nice little affirmation and reinforcing the idea that I don't ever need to go back to this is a little traumatizing, I will admit. Just touching the phone, using the phone felt like a relapse, but it's not because there's no danger of going back. So we will put you away. Put you back to sleep. Good night, sweet prince. I will see you next week, I assume. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, we'll see you at some point, and until that time, stay off those phones. Yeah, we'll see you next week because there's gonna be content! There's gonna be sick content. Okay, cool.